part about piano videos, instead of doing a clap, you can do one of these. Welcome to Piano Therapy. Uh, this is going to be the first episode of Becoming a Pianist. And so I began teaching myself in piano world. That's not a thing. Uh, I began teaching myself in 2019 how to play the piano, and it was this really, really beautiful experience of learning at my own pace, learning the songs I wanted to learn because I thought they were cool, uh, and it was really beautiful. Um, but uh, if you've seen some of my videos, you can see that my pinky might be up in the air like this while I'm playing. And uh, I've had many people, pianists, non-pianists, non-musicians, my own mother, tell me to fix that crap. So without further ado, we are going to spend the next year uh, learning the basics and the fundamentals uh, so that I can become a proper pianist. And I am really excited. So this first video is going to be dedicated to learning the keys of the piano. I have my teachings from Amos Stall Music. You can look up his teachings um, and follow along. They do cost money, but without further ado, the first thing to note in this lesson, uh, there's 88 keys. That was dramatic. There's 88 keys, but there's really only seven keys, which is nice. Um, so the keys are separated into two black keys, and three. And to the left of every set of two black keys is the C key. Now the musical alphabet is seven letters, starting from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, this is nice because instead of learning 88 keys, you only are learning seven. Um, so when I figured this out, I was, I was like a big, uh, a big uh, weight lifted off my shoulders. So only seven keys and the C key is how we identify where that starts, you know, at first and eventually you can just I it and say this is the A, and then as long as you know your alphabets, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats. Um, so really basic stuff, but really important. And um, yeah, I'm really just excited to keep learning those fundamentals. I can't wait to get to pinky exercises. <laughs> um, so the next part of this lesson is to learn the sharps and the flats of each key. So again, we have A, B, C, D, E, E, F, G. To the right of each key is the sharp version of that, of that key. So we have C, and we have C sharp. We have D, and we have D sharp. We have E, and we have E sharp or F, this is an exception. Then we have F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then it repeats A, A sharp, B, B sharp or C, C, C sharp. And then to the left is the flat versions of each key. So we have C, C flat, B, B flat, a, A flat, G, G flat, F, F flat, or uh, E, and E, E flat, D, D flat, C, C flat, or B. And that's the first lesson. We're done. With, like, that's it. That's all we're learning today. Um, and what's really exciting about this is that you have 88 keys, but there's only seven. And then it's a really simple way to remember the seven is as long as you know your alphabets. And even you saw me, even like I was catching myself, like when you have to do it backwards, uh, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, 
E D C B A. So like, what's really exciting is it's a learning process. You know your alphabets, I know my alphabets, but I've never really done them backwards. Uh, and um, if you're learning, that means you, um, you're, you're open to being incorrect and wrong. And vulnerability is something I think is really beautiful with music. And maybe in the later lessons, we will get into vulnerability and how that can help your playing, because that's how I like to play. Um, that is it for this video. Uh, the lessons will get harder and maybe a little longer, but if you like this video, please uh, leave a like, and that really helps me out. I really want um, this channel to grow, and I, I wanna provide like an area of YouTube and the internet where learning and being vulnerable uh, is a good thing. So, thanks, and bye for now.